Hi, Kerry Garrison with 888 VoIP Store, and today we're going to configure a Padded 4960 PRI gateway with the 3CX IP PBX platform. This is actually going to be fairly simple because the Padded 4960 is supported within the 3CX software. So all we're going to have to do is going to go into 3CX, set up the device, it's going to create a configuration file, then we take that configuration file, upload it into the 4960, and we're done. It's going to be fairly simple. So let's go over to the computer. We've powered up the 4960, so we've got it plugged into our network. We've got our 3CX system running here, and I'm going to come over to my laptop, and I'm going to run a piece of software that comes with the Padden devices. This is going to help you find the IP address on the network. Now, if you know how to find it using ARP or by checking your DHCP server, that's fine. But here you can see we have the smart node discovery tool up and running, and it's showing us the gateway information. So we've got the 4960 on address dot 80. If we have multiple ones, we'll be able to tell which one is which by the MAC address. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to 3CX. And I'm going to create a new PSTN device. I'm going to add a gateway. We're going to call this our 4960. We're going to go to Padden. We're going to select the correct device. So this is a 4960. Notice it has revision 4 and revision 5. So we're actually using the revision 5. This is a new device. So we want to pick the firmware 5. We're configuring one T1 port. So make sure we select the correct one. So one port T1. We're going to go to next. Select our country codes. Our signaling protocol. In our case, we use NI2 or National ISDN2. Deliver announcements or remove announcements. We actually want to deliver the announcements. The host name or IP, 192.168.5.80. Remember, we got that from the smart node tool. And we're going to keep the defaults here. It's going to create the virtual extension ports. Go ahead and go to next. Now it's going to create our outbound rules. So basically we want to do typically two rules, uh, a local and long distance rule, but because we're set up to dial with pretty much anything, we can just uh, take any digits that we want to send out. So in our case we're going to send 7, 10, or 11. So that will give me local, long distance, or long distance with a 1 first. We're going to go out to 4960. We're not going to strip any digits or append any, and we're ready to go. I want to create the config file, make sure I've got my interface and my subnet mask correct. It's going to ask me to save that file. So let's go ahead and save it to my default downloads. Now I'm going to log in to the pattern. The default password is administrator with no password. Now once we're in here, we can just go ahead and upload by going to import, export. So I'm going to go ahead and browse, go to my downloads directory, find my configuration file, and import. Now it's going to tell me that it's pretty much ready to go. I'm going to have to reload the configuration in here, which could take a minute or so. So we're going to go ahead and click reload. It's going to ask me if I'm sure. And there goes the process. Once it's done, it'll give me a message that the upload is complete, that the system's been reloaded, and we should be able to start making and receiving phone calls. So that's pretty much it for configuring the Padden 4960 with 3CX. 
Doesn't get much easier than that since 3CX supports the 4960 and creates that configuration file for you, which pretty much does all the work. If you need to go in and fine tune things later, you can do that, but really, for the most part, that's really all you're going to need to get up and running. This has been Kerry Garrison with 888 VoIP Store. Thank you for watching.